Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel today. My name is Janessa Storley, owner of Frontier Designs, and here at Frontier Designs, you are going to learn about all things real estate. We talk about real estate investing, design, and you know anything that you might really need to know when it comes to um, buying and selling a house. We are a house flipping company, so you'll see behind the scenes look on our processes when it comes to our house flips. And yeah, we're so excited to share our knowledge with you guys and um, the experiences that we are gain gaining with each and every house flip. So in today's video, I really wanted to touch on the barn house again. The barn house is our first house flip here in Williston. And I am so excited. It's been such a learning process with this one because there's been so much work that needs to be done. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about hiring an inspector um, for any house flip that you want to do and why that's so important. And even just if you're a homeowner in general, why hiring an inspector is so important. So if you want to learn about the process of that I have experienced when it comes to working with a home inspector, keep on watching. All right, you guys, we are talking about home inspectors today. I love this topic. I think it is so crucial for anybody buying a house to get some sort of home inspection. So important. So, so, so important. I think uh, my feelings are really geared towards this just because North Dakota is a buyer beware state. A buyer beware state essentially means that the sellers do not need to disclose anything faulty with the house if they don't want to. It's kind of frowned upon, but they still technically don't have to. And so all of the properties that are sold as is, there's going to be major problems. Um, so I find it so important to always hire a home inspector. Um, you, if you have a team yourself of contractors and stuff like that, then you know working with that general contractor is also good. That also works just fine. Um, I like to have a home inspector though come in and walk through the property because they give you very, very detailed lists of what is all wrong with the property. And then I can go back through and I can be like, okay, we need to fix this and we need to fix this and we need to fix this and there we go. It's all fixed. You know, those kind of things. It really gives you a guideline to what you need to do to fix this house. So when it came to the barn house and hiring an inspector, luckily we had already met an amazing inspector here in town. His, his name is Levi Mayer. I'm going to take his blog down in the description box below so you guys can kind of get to know him. He is a wealth of knowledge. He's a very smart man and I love working with him because he is so thorough in what he does. And he explains things in a way that makes it so easy for somebody who does not have an extensive construction background to understand. Um, so luckily I was able to find him very quickly. He did the home inspection on the house that my husband and I bought um, for ourselves to live in. And after that experience, I didn't want to hire anybody else. Now for those looking for a home inspector, you know, normally you can find them online and Google, you know, make sure that they have great reviews and all of that kind of stuff. I got lucky. <laughs> I found the best one, um, in my opinion, um, but there are so many other home inspectors out there and uh, just no different than contractors, do your research and make sure that you can build a working relationship with them. I know when it comes to Levi and I, I will not hire anybody else, like I will continue to work with him uh, just because we get along so well. I find that so important on understanding, you know, your relationship, making sure that it is a good relationship and that you're not angry or harboring anger towards ex-contractor or ex-inspector or whoever, um, you know, you want to keep those relationships going. So when you're vetting people, make sure that there's somebody that you get along with very well. So I find that so important, especially when you're coming from the investor side. Um, and so hiring an inspector can be wonderful because again, they're going to go through the entire house, do a full inspection on the electrical, plumbing, flooring, roof. I mean, absolutely everything. They're going to explore 
all of the problems and they're gonna tell you about every little detail. The thing is that they don't go into the walls, which is fine, um, you know, cause technically in a regular home, like for the house that we purchased for us to live in, we don't want him punching down walls to see if there's anything weird going on in the walls. That's not part of his job description or an inspector's job description. So always make sure, um, you know, but they're gonna point out all of the really specific details that they see that might be a problem. If the electrical panel looks weird or strange, you know, they're gonna test out the plumbing, see if there's any leaks or anything coming from that. They're gonna test out the furnace. I mean, the list goes on and on and they'll do a full extensive report on what is wrong with the entire property. And that is my favorite part about it because then I know what I'm looking for when I go to flip the house. Of course, the barn house was a full gutch and full house removal, took it off its foundation, put it back on. Um, and we found out about that through the inspection. You know, our um, inspector told, it, told us that, that how it was built down there is that it maybe had 10 to 15 years. And so I did not have the conscience to just leave it the way it was um, and to make everything else upstairs look pretty. Uh, the house had these fake cinder block walls in the basement. So if it were to fall, it would kind of hit that, but that's not, those cinder blocks are not going to help anything. Um, and so with the inspection, I got so much knowledge and it really took me down the path of making sure that I'm doing the house flip properly. Um, because I would never have known that the whole entire basement needed to be replaced had he not pointed out that flaw. Also, him pointing that out, I mean, us replacing the basement is a blessing in disguise. Because yes, we're putting more money down in there, we're putting a lot of money into the basement, we had to move the house off of its foundation, and now we're putting it back on, and you know, brand new concrete walls, everything, dug out all the bad, and put in brand new, I mean, it's just a process. But it was a blessing in disguise because now we are having more square footage in the basement. It's going to be now a four, two and a half bath instead of just a three bedroom, two bath with a small layout. Um, so we're basically doubling the square footage. So it was a very good blessing in disguise. It's going to be a beautiful basement once it's done. And I'm really excited for the process. I've learned a lot. And like I said, none of this would have been possible had I not hired an inspector to come and tell me what was really wrong with the property. So that is why I find it so important to hire an inspector. They can tell you things that you would overlook or you might not think is a problem, or I mean, the list can go on and on. You know, when it comes to a house, people can hide things in the most obvious of ways. And a home inspector can really help point those problems out. And so that is why I really love working with a home inspector when it comes to all of my house flips. You know, I'm able to get a list, walk through the property with them. They're going to explain everything that's wrong with the property. Then they're going to list, give me an extensive list and then I can use that going forward into the design plan and into the action plan on what do I need to do to make this house livable again. And that is just so important to me and so crucial. So you will always hear me talk about why a home inspector is so, so crucial as a member of your team. You know, find one that you can trust, find one that you will call time and time again and really build up that relationship and really cherish it uh, because they will definitely help your business flourish. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about inspectors, please let me know. Of course, I'm gonna leave Levi's blog down below so you can check him out, kind of get into his brain and learn some of the knowledge um, that he has when it comes to being a home inspector. Um, if you ended up liking this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!